Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, our fourth night of action for the 2024 winter spring meet gets underway in about 25 minutes at 5.55. Nine races, Tapitas Fast, a couple of carryovers. $2,000 plus, 20 cent single six jackpot starting in the fourth. The super high five carryover, the nightcap in excess of $6,200. I'm your track announcer, Tony Kalo. Let's open up our programs. Here are the changes. In the opener, scratch seven, post and up. Seven, post and up. Scratch from the Saturday night opener, number five, Domicia Lucia. A jockey change to Joe Ramos. Joe Ramos, five, Domicia Lucia. As always, the opener will begin the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Ribaldry was eager to leave post position four. She finds herself vying for the top spot inside of Domicia Lucia. In the third position is Celestial a Spin. Classy Dream goes with her. There's Clara Bell from the outside. Morning Angel bides her time in the sixth spot in State of Grace as the last of seven. Domicia Lucia speeding clear. She makes the pace two and a half for three. In the second spot is Ribaldry. Celestial Spin is third, five lengths off the lead. Better than two, back to Classy Dream. Clara Bell, three wide, Morning Angel from the rail. And State of Grace is the last of all as they race up the Turfway Park backstretch. Good opening quarter, very ambitious, 23 and three-fifths. Domicia Lucia stretches the lead to four lengths from Ribaldry. Celestial Spin still third, five off the lead. Morning Angels getting a little closer up the inside. Clara Bell from the far outside covering Classy Dream. They're taking closer order on Dumicia Lucia, who went very quick early. And here is Celestial Spin still at the tail. State of Grace. Dumicia Lucia calls it an early evening. Here is Celestial Spin getting the first over. Ribaldry's into second. Clara Bell is third. Morning Angel from between runners now along the inside. And she gets within three lengths of Celestial Spin. Celestial Spin has the lead. Morning Angel has momentum. Here she comes with her nice run. She gets away from the inside for the final 316. Celestial Spin, did she move too soon? Here comes Morning Angel with all the momentum right alongside. Morning Angel up to the front. Morning Angel and Fernando de la Cruz in the Saturday night opener from Celestial Spin, Ribaldry, and Clarabel. Very patient ride by Fernando de la Cruz, biding his time throughout with that rail positioning. You could see she had all the momentum in the run to the quarter pole. Celestial Spin just moved a tad too soon. She ran very well in defeat. Third place of four, Ribaldry. Fourth place, eight, Clara Bell. 2 one four, eight unofficially in tonight's Saturday night opener. 140 and 92 one hundredths, the final running time. Fans, you are reminded six kit can run. It was a late scratch in the paddock by order of the stewards. In the winner's circle is number two, Morning Angel, her second victory of the season, a five-year-old Dark Bear Brown mare by Langfuhr out of the successful appeal mare, Appealing Apple, um, by Thirsty Acres Racing LLC. That is winning trainer Tiana Richardville, and the winning jockey is Fernando de la Cruz. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Sather Family LLC. 2-1-4-8, top four finishers, that exact at $27.24, the trifecta $43.20. 10 cent super, $20.76. And the dollar super fact at $207.69. Tonight's second race, scratch four talks cheap, four talks cheap, scratch from tonight's second race. Jockey change on the one smile, like Kyle, Orlando Mojica, and the weight remains 121. Tonight's second race will kickstart the early pick four sequence 22 minutes away at 623. And there they go. Swift's dark king of Kentucky. Easy operator showing plenty of pace. Also their Magna Ruler. Smile like Kyle's into the fourth spot. Here's Tiger Paw from the top shelf. Eternal Bliss races outside of uh, Got the Bob. With the lead, it is King of Kentucky, Easy Operators' pace partner. 
And striding into the third spot, got the bob outside of Magna Ruler. And to the extreme outside is Tiger Paw. He covers Eternal Bliss. One slamming on the brakes, I-95. One at the back, and smile like Kyle. It is easy operator outside of King of Kentucky. Here comes Tiger Paw with his move to the outside. Got the bob as fourth. Eternal Bliss is in the fifth position, and he's closing in. Tiger Paw now asks for some run. Tiger Paw, his momentum has stalled. Here's Eternal Bliss looking him in the eye, and he's right alongside Eternal Bliss and Tiger Paw trying to come and get Easy Operator. Eternal Bliss after Easy Operator. Easy Operator digs in at the eighth pole. Eternal Bliss is into second. Tiger Paw flattened out. He's only going to get a minor placing. Extreme outside is I-95. It's Easy Operator in front. Eternal Bliss second, then Tiger Paw. I-95 for the Superfecta. Easy Operator is a smooth operator in tonight's second race. Bet down to the solid second choice at two to one, a pretty comfortable winner. Tiger Paw showed a little bit of promise. As quickly as he got into the race, he came under pressure and could not respond. Eternal Bliss made a nice move. Had a little bit of a brief look at the top of the lane, but Easy Operator was too strong this evening. 112 and 17 one hundredths the final time. Eight is the winner, Easy Operator. Second place is seven. Eternal Bliss, third place is nine. Tiger Paw and fourth place is five I-95. Eight, seven, nine, five unofficially in tonight's second race. Easy Operator's in the winner's circle. A six-year-old of Bay Gelding by Caleb's Posse out of the trippy mare trip to the stars. Owned by Charlie Hancock along with Genevieve Landano. And Genevieve Ev is the winning trainer. I'll work on that pronunciation moving forward. Winning jockey, Gabriel Saez. He's the operator was bred in Indiana by owner Charlie Hancock. And tonight's second race is official, 8795, a top four finishers, that exact of $56.14, trifecta, $30.34, $0.10 cent superfecta, $21 and a penny, a dollar superfecta, $210.11, 2 8 early double, $13.48, third race offers a double and a mid pick three, scratch 10 all about tonight, tonight's third race, 23 minutes away at 7 o'clock. And there they go, high alert, tried to get, beat the starting gate, and it might have cost him a little bit. He's at the back of the pack. Here's Sharon's Prince vying for the top spot with Intolerable. Coasting by is also forwardly positioned. Baytown Bruiser from the extreme outside. He's into the fourth spot. From the inside is Cloudy Holiday. I'm going to one fast mini. High alert, Derbis splits them. The favorite, Mr. Favorsham, is the last of all. Intolerable, the quickest to the backstretch run, about a length and a half for two. Coasting by his second, Sharon's Prince is in a good spot, saving ground. And to his outside, Baytown Bruiser. High alert is about seven lengths off the pace. From the inside is Cloudy Holiday. Three parts of a length to Derbis. It's another two lengths. And towards the tail, Mr. Favorsham with one fast midi. It's a 23 and three opening quarter, so it's another good tempo. This time it has been established by Intolerable, one of the long shots. And up the outside goes coasting by, and Sharon's Prince has worked away from the inside. He's now three deep, and he's pouncing on the top two. Cloudy Holiday, just like his debut run, up the inside, has to slam on the brakes. Now here's one sweeping into the scene, Baytown Bruiser, high alert is there. Cloudy Holiday now trying to find some run along the inside. Derbis is to his outside, the Mr. Favorsham. Sharon's Prince got a very nice setup. He was able to track very smartly up the inside. He's at the 3 16ths with the lead. He comes under a little pressure, but he still has some run. Sharon's Prince from the outside is Baytown Bruiser. Cloudy Holiday's trying to gather momentum up the inside, and here's Mr. Favorsham to the far outside. It is Baytown Bruiser up to the front. He's a good number at 11 to 1. Baytown Bruiser. In front, Mr. Favorsham's in a photo for second with Cloudy Holiday. Not a lot of excuses for Sharon's Prince. Made the lead, but his lead was short-lived, and he could only manage four. Eight one six four, unofficially in tonight's third. One minute forty and sixty one hundredths the final time. Baytown Bruiser is in the winner's circle. 
11 to 1 upsetter. Three year old Dark Bear Brown Gelding by Preservationist. Under the proud citizen mayor, she's tricky. That one to trade by Glenn Wismer, winning a jockey, Gabriel Martinez. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Brereton C. Jones, along with Timothy Thornton. Exacto $105.70. The trifecta $153.32. Eight eight daily double $51.26. Ten cent superfecta $83.77. Dollar superfecta $837.72. Two eight eight early pick three $84.06. Our fourth race is up next. And we just have a, I just received a late scratch from the Stewards 5 Soul Air. The scratch is being announced for the first time. Tonight's fourth race, now scratching 5 Soul Air. This just in from the Stewards. Four and seven earlier scratches, Gambi and Proud Lori. Add the 5 Soul Air to that list. Tonight's fourth race, scratches 4, 5, and 7. 4, 5, and 7, all scratched from the fourth. This race will start our 20 cent single six uh, jackpot. Uh, number two, Lamani has an additional workout. That was on the 2nd of January. And that was at FanDuel, 3 eights, fast track, 39 seconds, breezy. And there they go. And Pledulations breaks alertly from her inside. Girl Goodbye will pick it up. Laser Jet is also amongst the action. And here's Fast and Happy making a move into second. On the lead, girl, goodbye. Not in any hurry, girl, goodbye on the lead. Fast and happy right off her heels. Here's Pledulations assuming the second spot. Laser Jet is fourth. Bolts Babe is into the fifth position. Pittore de Oro comes away running in sixth. Then Lamani is the early trailer. Not much pace on, and it is girl, goodbye. Albin Jimenez on the lead. Girl, goodbye entering the back stretch. A length and a tail to Pledulations. Fast and happy from the rail. Bolts Babe from the outside. Laser Jets in the fifth position. Purple Silks a little more than four or five lengths from the front. Length and half to Pittore de Oro. A similar margin back to Lamani. 24 and three fifths. Casual enough for Girl Goodbye. Really no pressure being applied. Girl Goodbye with that length and a tail advantage. Fast and happy second from the inside of Pledulations. Bolts Babes in the clear. Laser Jet is only three lengths off the lead, and she's closing in along the inside. Pittore de Oro is trying to close. She has six lengths to make up. Nothing yet from Lamani. Money. Still, girl, goodbye. Unchallenged throughout. She's the leader better than two. And from between gals is Fast and Happy. Laser Jet gets closer. Bolts Babes under pressure. Pittore de Oro continues to close in. Has a little bit of a look. Pittore de Oro getting within three lakes at the top of the lane. Girl, goodbye. Laser Jet. Fast and Happy. Pittore de Oro maneuver to the extreme outside. She continues to close with the lead. Girl, goodbye. She has led throughout. Laser Jet tries to get a little closer from the outside. Here's Laser Jet. Laser Jet tackling Girl Goodbye. Laser Jet. Laser Jet from Girl Goodbye. Pittore de Oro fast and happy. Finished four. Six Laser Jet and nine. Girl Goodbye. One, two under the line. 147 and 86 one hundredths. The final time from tonight's fourth. Girl Goodbye set a pretty casual pace. Really nobody stepped up to her for most of the running. She just couldn't put anybody away. Had every right to get to the winner's circle this evening. Six laser jet gradually wearing her down. You see the slow-mo. Six, nine, three, one. Let the placing judges get the numbers up, and here they are. Six, nine, three, one. And tonight's fourth race is official. Officially a six, nine, three, one. Here is a laser jet. Laser jet's making your way into the winner's circle. Four-year-old Dark Bayer Brow Philly by Sharp Azteca out of the Goldschmer Ant Dot Dot. By Ten Strike Racing. Trainer is Matt Scherr, and the winning a jockey is Gavin Ashton. It was bred in Kentucky by Truxton Stables. And here are the prices. A 6.9 exact of $39.92. 6.93 trifecta, $58.11. Eight six dollar double fifty eight dollars forty nine cents. A 
Eight five consolation double twelve dollars eight cents. Five soul there was a, a late scratch. Ten cent super forty eight dollars fifty one cents. Dollar super four hundred eighty five dollars and some change. Eight eight six pick three one hundred eleven dollars forty six cents. Eight eight five pick three twenty four dollars thirty nine cents. Precise payoff of that dollar super four hundred eighty five dollars and eighteen cents. All right, tonight's fifth race will start our late pick five. Scratch number five, Scarab. And post time is at 22 minutes at 8.01. And there they go. Freaky Z is quickly into stride along with Cusp. Uncle William is forwardly positioned. Here's Yangara, the big favorite, into the fourth spot. And he is up close to the action. Five-star G-Man from the far outside. Street Fighter along the inside. I'm Him is five lengths off the lead. A length to Papa Alden. Bad Boy for Life is second last. An accident is the last of all. Freaky Z, Yangara from between runners. Yangara putting his nose in front at the three eights. Uncle Williams right there, three deep. From the far outside, I'm Him ranges into the action. Papa Alden's trying to begin a move along the inside. And right there with Papa Alden is five-star G-Man and Cusp. Cusp outside of Papa Alden. Five-star G-Man with this big move. In the meantime, Uncle William has come away with the lead at 48-1. to one. Yangara from the inside is back to second. Cusp is right there in third. He gets within about two lengths. Uncle William trying to spring this huge upset. Cusp to the outside. Cusp on the cusp of greatness. And here he comes with his run. And Cusp is up to the front. Cusp from Uncle William. Third and fourth got very tight. Five-star G-Man for accident. Number 12, Cusp is the unofficial winner. How about the effort from 10, Uncle William? Cusp, 9 to 2. Uncle William, 48 to 1. Sign is up on the board for third and fourth. That placing got very, very tight. The final running time, 111 and 71, 100. Van Jura reminded three code one was a late track veterinarian scratch. Number one accident checks in third. A fourth place, number 11, five star G Man. Entering the winner's circle is number 12, Cusp. It's a four-year-old of Egg Elding by City of Light out of the Victory a Gallup Mare. Swing it. And by OXO Equine LLC winning a trainer is Paulo Lobo winning jockey Gerardo Corrales. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Mr. and Mrs. Bain Welker Jr. 6-3 consolation, double $3.26. Early pick four, $655.41. 10 cents superfecta, $492.12. 8 6 12 pick three, $184.49. 8 5 12 $36.68. 8 6 3 $26.32. 12 10 exacta from the fifth, $368.70. 12 10 one trifecta, $369.83. 6 12 double, I missed it. You had to get back to it. I tried. All right, here we go. Thank you very much to my video department. $22.74, 612 for what accommodation. Dollar Superfecta, $4,921.28. How about this early pick five? I don't think I've seen that yet. Here we go, $1,053.16. Four out of five, $14.98. 853, pick three, $5.82. All right, let's move on to the six. Race six is our Saturday featured event, the 29th running of the Turfway Preview. $125,000 guaranteed, three year old six and a half furlongs. Just a quintet with no superfecta wagering because of the two scratches, two sweet, Zotti, and Jay. Six. CPG. This race will start our late pick four, 22 minutes away at 8.34 for the Turfway Preview. 
Race 6 is our Saturday featured event, the 29th running of the uh, Turfway Preview. $125,000 guaranteed, six and a half furlongs for these uh, newly turned uh, three-year-olds. A couple of scratches, uh, two Sweet Saudi J and six ZPG with the two defections. No Superfect the wagering. Let's meet the field beginning with number one, Vote No. He's the big favorite at Even Money. Owned by Joseph P. Mori, a junior conditioned by Billy Mori. The jockey is Gerardo Corrales. Scratching the two onto the three, Joe Shiesty, owned by Foster Family Racing, Lonnie Reynolds, Vicki Mills, and Donald Coombs. Eric Foster is the trainer in the irons, Alex Ajard. Number four is Godolphin's Quarrymen, conditioned by Brad Cox, the pilot Axel Concepcion. Number five is Tagliatelle, owned by Foster Family Racing, R.K. Eckrich Racing LLC and Maxis Stable. Eric Foster, the trainer, the jockey Walter Rodriguez, scratching the six and onto the seven. Let's go, Mark. Owned by Triple M Racing Stable LLC. His trainer is John Ennis, and his jockey is Adam Biskitza, two pounds over the weight. That's the quintet for the 29th running of the Turfway Preview. $125,000 guaranteed. Our Saturday feature, three year old six and a half furlongs. Once again, no super effect wagering. First leg of our late pick four. You have seven minutes until post time. Let's go, Mark, to the outside. Ready for the Saturday night featured event. And there they go in the 29th running of the Turfway preview. And it is Let's Go, Mark, with that quick start, immediately confronted by Joe Shiesty. Tagliatelle comes away in third. Here's the favorite. Vote no from the rail. He's a little more than five lengths off the lead. And Quarryman is about six and a half from the pace. And it's Let's Go Mark. Joe Shiesty had to check momentarily. Let's Go Mark crossing over. Joe Shiesty in the second spot. A little more than two lengths from the front. It's about four lengths back to Tagliatelle. Quarryman from the outside. And the favorite, Vote No, looks to be guided to the outside. He has a lot of running to do with the three eights. He's a good eight lengths from the pace. 22 seconds from Let's Go Mark building up better than two and a half to Joe Shiesty. Tagliatelle under a drive. Here comes Vote No. Now he's picking up a plenty momentum. Vote No from fifth into third, and he's three lengths from Let's Go Mark. Let's Go Mark has the lead. Vote No has him in his sights, and he has all the momentum to the outside. And here comes Vote No. He comes under left-handed urging, and he glides up right alongside of Let's Go Mark. And Vote No has hit the front. Let's Go Mark back to second with nothing in response. Vote No. With a resounding yes in the Turfway preview. He wins going away from Let's Go Mark. Joe Shiesty third, then Tagliatelle and Quarryman. Vote no, three out of four to kickstart his career. Very promising run here in the Turfway preview. Confidently handled throughout by Mr. Gerardo Corrales. Wanted to get him away from the inside. And he was able to, or willing to, give up plenty of ground. Maneuvered him into the clear, and it was just a menacing run from there after one vote no. Big time winner in the Turfway preview. One minute 17 and 70 one hundredths the final time. And the winner's circle is number one, vote no. Impressive winner of the uh, Turfway preview, a three-year-old dark bear brown gelding by Divisadero out of the more than ready mare, Sisters Ready, owned by Joseph P. Mori Jr., winning trainer Billy Mori, back-to-back -back for winning jockey Gerardo Corrales. And it was bred in Kentucky by Mr. and Mrs. John Price, Mr. and Mrs. A. John Price. Congratulations to uh, Joseph P. Mori Jr.'s vote no. Good looking winner of tonight's featured event. Billy Mori already with three state scores this season. Gerardo Corrales, back to back victories on the Saturday card. Here are the prices the pick three, 612, a $137.40. 631 pick three, $5.39. $5.39 for that pick three. 17 exact to $24.54. 173 trifecta, $16.80. 12 1 daily double, that's a Corrales double, $13.69.
Our seventh race will begin the late pick three. A very nice allowance event, a field of nine. It's clear of change, and it's 20 minutes away at 9.03. And there they go. Pretty good start. Mucho Mojo, part of the pace. Santorini quickly into stride. Promise me a ride. Makes three of them attending the lead. It is Santorini along the inside. Mucho Mojo is in the second spot with Promise Me a Ride. Verbal has the fourth position along the inside. Here's JP Race taking over the fifth position. We go to Bromley outside of Hardy Joyce. Rarified Flair is second last, and Broken Rib is the last of all, and he's about seven lengths off the lead. Santorini, 24 and one fifth, has the lead. Promise Me a Ride is his partner applying pressure to the 5'8". JP Race third with Verbal. And Hardy of Choice is going with them from the outside. And Mucho Mojo amongst that group. Mucho Mojo, a little less than three lengths off the lead. About three lengths to Bromley, who has six lengths to make up up the back stretch run. A length in front of Broken Rib. Similar margin back to Rarified Flair. Santorini with the lead, the half and 48 and three fifths. Promise Me a Ride continues to hound from the outside. Hardy Choice is into third. Verbal's fourth and JP Race. Mucho Mojo has three and a half or four lengths to make up. That's a break of at least three lengths to Bromley. Bromley's trying to pick up his stride. He needs work to do. He races with broken rib. Nothing yet from rarefied flair. Santorini, the one to step up to. Into the second spot is Verbal. Mucho Mojo to the outside. Then JP Race promised me a ride. Bromley to the extreme outside. Santorini's huge past the eighth pole. Two and a half lengths from Verbal. Santorini better than three at the 16th. And Santorini is going all the way, and he's headed to the winner's circle. Verbal clearly second. Bromley late on the scene into third, and it's Mucho Mojo for the Superfecta. To wire winner last seed in the grade one Hollywood a Derby. He finished fifth in a field of seven. Here he is at Turfway Park and an allowance now winners of three. You get two to one, and it's Santorini a wire to wire winner. 138 and 52 one hundredths the final time. Number two, Verbal, a clear cut second place finisher. Third place for Bromley took his sweet time to gear up. Somewhat disappointing as the three to two favorite and fourth place to the five, Mucho Mojo at a big number, 20 to one to complete your super pet now. In the winner's circle is number three, Santorini. Four-year-old Dark Bear Brown Colt by Twirling Candy out of the Giants Cosway Mare, Giants Jewel, owned by Storyteller Racing, Dave Russell and Scott Gatlett. Winning a trainer is Rudy Brissett, winning jockey Alex and Joe. Santorini was bred in Kentucky by Mary Abiel Sullivan Revocable Trust. Exact to $38.08, trifecta $30.43, a one three daily double, $11.93. $0.10 cent super, $37.29, dollar superfecta, $372.99, 12 one three pick three, $39 and a nickel. Eighth race will begin our late daily double, nine and 14 both scratched, Merlotti and Gamer, nine and 14 out of this upcoming eighth race. 13 draws in, Iconicus, and make the jockey Orlando Mojica, the weight's good at 120. Six Saturn boy, a jockey change to Walter Rodriguez, corrected weight 120 pounds. Five, Aboco, as an additional workout thoroughbred training center, 30th of December, a half mile move, 50 and two fits, breezing over a fast track. Our late daily double, 22 minutes away at 9.33. And there they go. Boko is showing plenty of pace from the rail. We have a Jaybird. Classic creation is also forwardly positioned. Look at Jaybird, intent on making the lead, and he will. It's Jaybird past the 7 eights with the lead. Boko's into the second spot. Mendel's secret strides into third. Auto glide from the far outside. Classic creation is racing with Southern Crush. And right there with them, both Iconicus and Dual Monarchy. And it's a break of at least four lengths to Saturn Boy. He races a length in front of Sterling's Gold. And racing with them from the far outside at the back of the pack is Cairo's Ghost. So there is pace on up front. And we do have Jaybird with the lead. And right there with him from the outside 
is Mendel's secret. And from between runners, races Boko. Auto glides in the clear with the black silks, and he's two and a half off the lead. And here's Classic Creation making his bid along the rail. He vies into a shared third spot. Southern crushes all in. Also trying to begin a bit is Saturn Boy. Saturn Boy's closing up the rail. Dual Monarchy finds himself four deep through the turn. And here coming away with the lead is Mendel's secret. But there's Classic Creation with a big blitz. And Classic Creation's up to the front. And Saturn Boy's following after him. Classic Creation and Saturn Boy at the 316s. And Classic Creation gets away, leads a length and a half. Saturn Boy into the second spot. It is Classic Creation. Gerardo Corrales looking for three. And Classic Creation is safe and secure. He's a good looking winner from Saturn Boy. Kairos goes third, and Sterling's goal checked in fourth for the Superfecta. Three classic creation, seven to two winner, 138 and 42 one hundreds. Made that nice decisive move, a big blitz into contention. Strong run to the wire. How about Mr. Gerardo Corrales? Tremendous week. Classic creation. 7 to 2, the unofficial winner. Second place, 6, Saturn Boy. Third place, 10, Kairos Ghost. Fourth place, 2, Sterling's Gold. 3, 6, 10, 2, unofficially in the eighth. In the winner's circle is number 3, a classic creation, a four year old chestnut colt by Classic Empire out of the Pure Prize Mare, our Pure Creation by Fun Belly Stables, LLC. Winning trainer is John Terranova. And it's three for winning jockey, Gerardo Corrales. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Joe Parker. A free four consolation double, $3.62. Three, six, 10, two, 10 cents super, $214.31. One, three, three, pick three, $24.72. three, four, pick three, five dollars, 39 cents. Three, six, exact is $63.18. Three, six, 10 trifecta, $158.03. A three, three, daily double, $19.42. Dollar superfecta, $2,143.19. One more race to go on the Saturday card. Scratch both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14, Sky Key and Better Luck. Sixth Melee has an additional workout at Skylight Trading Center, 30th of December, half mile, 50 and two fifths freezing. The nightcap has a super high five carryover, $6,245.30. The Saturday nightcap is in 22 minutes at 10.03. And there they go, slow start, unbridled chaos. Mendel's fly is showing good speed with east from west from the inside. Is you're on mute, you're on mute from the rail. Mendel's fly is the quickest, little bit of contact there for you're on mute. So it is Mendel's fly with the lead from east from west. And you're on mute was third, now he's back to the fifth spot. High headed makes a move for second covering a Publius. And also up close to the action is Lomachenko. Lomachenko right alongside of you're on mute. They're about three and a half or four off the lead. From the outside is Mastery and Polished Acasio's the gray, and he's about six legs from the front. It's about two and a half to Papio. Then we'll go to Melee, Unbridled Chaos, and Best Man Speech is the last of all. And they race up the Turfway Park backstretch. Mendel's Fly has the lead. Publius is all over him, heading into the third. East from West is third. High headed as the fourth spot. Lomachenko is five lengths off the lead. A link to Acasio. Mastery and polished from the outside. Yoram Mutes two lengths behind him. And after that race is Papa Yo. Publius ready to tackle Mendel's Fly. Mendel's Fly still with something left. Publius from the outside is second. Mendel's Fly. Mendel's Fly has the lead. Publius is really being pushed on, trying to stay with Mendel's Fly. East from West is beginning his bit up the inside. High-headed still in the battle. Lomachenko's trying to quick it in. Mendel's Fly, East from West at 17 to one, comes with his run. East from West right alongside of Mendel's Fly. Mendel's Fly's huge. East from West trying to post this upset. Who wants the Saturday night cap? Mendel's Fly. And he deserved it. He did all the heavy lifting. East from West was second. Further back was Publius. 
And right there with him, Publius, was Lomachenko and high headed. Let the dogs out on the apron. A rowdy bunch of guys there enjoying the nightcap. Good finish there. Mendel's fly east from west really challenged him. Mendel's fly did all that heavy lifting. He is the unofficial winner. And he covered the one mile in 139 and 62 one hundreds. Good effort from the two. East from west. Third place for Publius. Tight for fourth and fifth. Make sure to hold all tickets. Mendel's fly is in the winner's circle. He is a three-year-old, a dark bear brown colt by Mendelssohn out of the Giants Causeway mare. Causeway's fly. Won by Nancy Deloney, winning Trader Dale Romans, winning jockey Luan Machado. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Frank Jones and owner Nancy Deloney. Play pick for $165.13, 10 cents super $445.06. Pick six carry over into the Wednesday card. $4,241.04. Saturday pick five, $727.27. Four out of five, $12.46. Five two exacta from the nightcap, $156.50. Five two four trifecta, $157.32. Three five late double, $20.02. Dollar Superfecta, $4,450.64. Pick six this evening is worth $899.22. 335, a late pick three, $53.64. 345 consolation version, $9.51. Saturday, a pick five, $727.27. Late pick five, $727.27. Four out of five, $12.46. We have a super high five carry over to the Wednesday card, $9,383.05. That concludes our Saturday card here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Stick around, all sorts of great action. Check out our new racing sports book. Got a football game on this evening. Go enjoy some second half of that NFL action. Live music, denim and deluxe, denim deluxe all the way up until midnight. All sorts of Great stuff happening down on the gaming floor. Still plenty of time to enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. Sure hope you did have a great night of racing. We will do it all over again Wednesday at 5.55. With leaving the track, please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park, Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.